Well, I'm at the site of uh, the, the new bee farm. This is a Mikuni Chol uh, near uh, Sunset Beach. And this is all blueberries here. We've planted, I've actually seeded all the way down the side here with um, rape or mustard seed. Um, the um, chestnuts are about to flower here. So the bees for the chestnuts would be really good. Um, another innovation for my these little tops is actually bee lures. I don't know if they work or not, but basically uh, this is, I uh, put a little lemon seed oil on a little sponge, put it in there, and uh, I'm going to put it out. So hopefully uh, by putting these out, we'll lure the bees. So one of the problems I'm going to have out here is actually with ants. So I've got to devise, I've been thinking about innovating a solution for ants because the ants, I've put some, what's it called down? Pepper, um, cinnamon. They don't like cinnamon. cinnamon. So I put some down there. And, uh, but I'm going to actually probably use tops with nails with a kind of a screw so the ants can't, you know, have to go through oil to get up into the hive, keep the ants out. Because as you can see, there's ants crawling around. So, um, I've seen bees out here. Look at all the, you know, this is beautiful bee food out here. I need to collect some of this for my. This a wasp, a wasp there. Let's see if we can see bees. These are all chestnuts. They're about to flower. Actually, I've got one lure here. Actually, I'm gonna put another lure over here. Put it up under here. I, I forgot to bring my friggin' string. Always something. Right. I'm gonna put that lure right here. In between the box would be good. I can get it in here. All right. Um, but these are all about to flower, and supposedly the bees really love the 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 chestnuts. And the fact is, they're trees. You know, um, bamboo. I'm sure they don't want bamboo growing up in here. Um, I'm sure they'll, you know, this is, this is going to be great for a bee, bee yard. It's a wasp. I saw bees here, really pale colored bees. Two of them, only two. But look at all these. There, I don't see any, there's a beetle on this one. There are, it's sunny, it's midday. And this thing should be a, a, a buzz of pollinators. There's a big hornet. I don't know if you can see it on that chestnut there. But there's no pollinators whatsoever on, on these. There's a flowering tree here. And these are all cherry trees down here. So there's lots of food. And the other thing I want to do, we've, we've thrown out clover all up in here. I'm going to throw more bags of clo clover, have clover growing up in here. And... Uh, there's some sort, I don't know what this is. If, if you know what, what is this? It's not blackberry, right? No, no. I see some um, solitary bees right here. Solitary bee right there getting into the flower. Look at a bee just going at it, just digging in. That's a solitary bee. The beetles really love this flower. This is really, really strong pollinator. I mean, um, look at these beetles just going crazy over this flower, which is now dying off. I just heard a giant hornet buzz by my ear, right close to my ear, checking me out. They'll do that. Or was that a beetle flying next to me? This was loaded with beetles yesterday. Here's a little solitary bee. They love this tree. Whatever this is, I'm going to grab, as soon as this turns into seed, right, give it a couple, a week or so, I'm going to plant some of this at my bee, bee farm. They love this. I'd like to get a bunch of this tree growing, or bush, or whatever the heck you are, even though I get beetles with it. So, um, how am I going to put these? I don't have string. I'm going to just come back later and do them, because I don't want to hang them.
think these are all, these are like daisies. Yeah, these are daisies coming up here, pushing up. These are all going to be flowers. But do you, I mean, it's noon. It's nearly noon. It's late morning. And these flowers should be a buzz of, with pollinators, and they're not. When these come out, it's going to be really cool. Bees love this, so hopefully we'll get bees there. This is where I saw, we saw a couple bees. I'm scanning here. Nothing. There's that giant, there's a, there's a carpenter bee. You know, bumblebees are the early morning pollinators I've discovered. They're the, I've noticed that they're the first ones to pollinate. He came in and ran, saw me coming. It's like, there's that bee guy. So, this doesn't look good here. Why is this tip dying? Right. But we can turn this into a beautiful bee pasture. Have hives. My goal is to have some hives in between here, right? Like we do there, one there, one there. Should move one down here, right into the sun. Maybe I'll do that. I was going to kind of walk up in there, but I don't think there's anything. I don't know how much woods are back in here. But there's no pollinators. Look at this. No pollinators. What the heck? How could so many flowers not have any pollinators? This is just the bee movie, you know? This is the bee movie. This is pretty scary to me, seeing all this. Now it's time to hit these because it's not windy. Have the sea just falling down. Get more of these popping up. All right. Let's go. Oh, I heard a bee. It's a, it's a carpenter bee. Carpenter bee right there. You see him flying around visiting me? Took off. Fast flying carpenter. All right, so this is it. This is blackberries. I'd like to get some of these, plant some of these too. He's ripen. Okay, that's it. There you go. The new bee farm. Bee farm. Bee sanctuary number three. And we can set up, we can just, we're going to put a lot of uh, bee food out here. So we got that pasture, that pasture, we got all these pastures. And clover is good for cows. So uh, I'm really excited. I found a place where I can work. And maybe move my entire operation out here, probably will. So I'd probably say, I mean, I like the riverside bee. I was going to say bye-bye to the riverbank. But, um... Ultimately, this is a lot better. And I, and I saw that bee. I try to grab him. There he is. Here's this new bee that I've seen. He loves clover. He's a chalky bee. He's black with white stripes. He's got short little antennas. He's got sacks on him. I think he's a kind of bumblebee. Well, let's find out. If he's male, he's not going to sting me. Got him in my hand. He didn't sting me. I think he's a male. I think he's a form of a bumblebee. There he is. See that, how I grabbed that bee? 
He loves clover. He's just licking up on there. So that's my mystery bee too. So if you know what that is, I'd love to know what that is. He's about, he's a little bit smaller than the male bumblebee. He's chalky in color with uh, black with some white stripes. Short little antennas. And uh, he has pollen sacs on him. And uh, he's out here kind of in the wilderness area here. In there. All right, well, I'm out of here. I got to figure out, my dilemma is I need to work on ant protecting my, I have an idea how we're going to do that based on someone else's innovation, but basically uh, protecting my hives against ants is my goal.